Good morning, guys. Hey, it's Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, it's uh, early on a Saturday morning, about 6.15 to be exact. Yesterday afternoon, late in the day, we came and we pulled up the fence post that was on this old fence row. And you can kind of see where we had sprayed Roundup and where we were going down this fence row, which basically followed all of the telephone poles. Well, so yesterday we came through here. We took... Uh, my neighbor's uh, Kubota tractor hooked a chain to the front end loader with a slip loop. We came through here and we picked up all of the T-post, all of the old post, yanked them out of the ground, and uh, we got them out. So what are we doing this morning? Well, a little history here. So over time, you can I don't know if you can see this or not, but that's a pretty good ridge of dirt that's built up where the old fence row was. Grass grows up next to the fence, the wind blows, dust, you can see it's a wide open field next to this. So what happens is over time, you get a fence row or a ridge row. And uh, we're gonna come here today, take this dirt off of this ridge row, relocate it to a better place. So what you're gonna see this morning is a little bit of a uh, box blading going on. So instead of talking about it, I'm ready to get on the tractor and make some stuff happen. Hey, more info to follow. Hey guys, here's an update for you on the fence project. So today we went out to Greenville Steel and we picked up eight posts that are eight foot long by two and seven eighths. So the plan this weekend is as we start to work more on that fence project, you know, uh, I showed you in the previous video where we, we removed the bob wire. We're gonna come back now, we're gonna pull all of those T-posts, we're gonna get on the box plating. But up in Telephone, Texas, fence places are not readily available. So here in Dallas, it's uh, Thursday afternoon. I went by and I picked up uh, fence supplies. So I have the pipe that's needed to set our uh, end post. So that's the plan. If everything goes well this weekend, we will pull the T-post, box blade the fence lane, get it smoothed out, and then I'll come in there and I'll set the uh, end braces using the sack crete, where you're using quick right, quick reet, 80 pound bags. Let me tell you what, man, 80 pound bag, it, that's a lot to handle. Anyway, just wanted to give you an update on the fence supplies. But here's the most disappointing thing, is look how bad this Chevy truck is squatting. Man, so there's 800 pounds of uh, concrete, about 350 pounds of post, and this thing is squatting like a little girly truck. Maybe I can convince my wife to let me upgrade to an F-250 Ford or a Chevy 2500. I don't know. The 2009 Chevy 1500 just isn't cutting it anymore. It can't even handle the load I need it to carry. So, oh well. All right, guys, hey, here we go. We're getting an update. So what are we doing today? We are setting some metal posts. You can see we've got one planted right here. This is gonna be the end brace. We'll have another one going right here. Got a hole that's about three and a half, almost four foot deep. We'll have a 16 foot gate. You can see we have box bladed all the way down the path. I've got the A-team with me today. I've got Chris, the new addition to Heritage Farms, Texas. My lovely wife, CEO, president, supervising as always. And my Kubota. And her Kubota, as she clearly pointed out, next to my New Holland 5060. Hmm, which one does the work? I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. We're setting some posts. The goal being we're using the fence bullet system, so we're gonna set posts this weekend. We'll come back next weekend. We'll bolt up the cross members and literally 
we're getting close to stringing uh, bob wire from there we'll come back put our uh, t-post on 10 foot centers every fifth t-post we'll put an actual wood boat arc post to anchor it and then hopefully uh, by the middle of july we'll have this little project uh, wrapped up i'm hoping and there's my lovely daughter bailey so she's got a very important job today she's applying the caps to the top of the post as you can see all right we'll bring more updates later Problem here trying to get this post straight. It keeps wanting to move on us. But we're about to beat it into submission. All right. So what we're doing is uh, we're poured the sack tree in. We're taking a T post, making sure we uh, tamp it in around so that when it starts to cure, there's no air pockets. It's in there nice and evenly distributed all the way around the post. You can see we've got a guy wire attached at both ends so we know exactly where to set our post so that when we're finished, we have a lovely straight line for 450 feet. And you can see the string goes all the way down. Okay guys, here we are. We're back on the fence project. Let me get this ugly gate out of the way so you guys can see what's going on. But what we're working on here is the uh, fence bullet system from uh, Ron, I think his last name is Ludecky, I believe. I may be wrong. Sorry, Ron, if I butchered your name. Uh, but anyway, hey, this is the fence bullet system that he has or the bullet fence system. So what you do is you set your vertical post, come back the following weekend, cut your horizontal post, whatever configuration you like. You come in here, you put a band on, has a uh, bolt that runs through it, 9 16 wrench, put it on there. Once you get it to the level you want, you tighten it up. You come in, slide your bullet over the bracket. You got one little bolt right here to tighten and voila, you're off to the races. Sounds a little bit easier than it is, but uh, hey, 
if you don't have a welder or access to one or trying time to get a welder on here it's outstanding so on this side once again let me get this gate out of the way we are not using those gates when we come back we decided to do a, a double bar on this side vertical top rail that's level and then you can see you can come on down here as we move along so what we've done is uh, basically every uh, 50 feet we put a wooden treated post there you go that thing ought to be here forever but hey guys i want you to check that out that line is pretty straight i'm digging it i like it so anyway fence project telephone texas more to come sit tight okay we're down at the other end now and uh this kind of gives you a little representation of what we're working with once again the fence bullet system or bullet fence system really pretty easy set your post we set these last weekend uh, basically put a uh, 80 pound bag of sackcrete in each hole uh, got the post set came back this weekend put your brackets on once again you have just a single bracket you adjust to whatever height you want it's got a you tighten that tighten it up set one end of your pipe on here on this end over here you slide the other end down tighten it all there is to it takes a little work to get it level and to loosen it and go back and forth and get it just right but you know it's like everything else the more you do it the more you become familiar with it but the beauty of it once again is you don't have to have a welder around here and uh, just getting a guy to show up to weld a little job like this you know it'd probably cost you two hundred dollars or 250 uh, who knows how much anyway this is what we did two and three eighths pipe here two and seven eighths pipe there makes for a really nice solid installation so what we'll do on this end we'll come in here hang us a gate i've got to take all of these trees out and everything i've asked the power line company to come out and help me uh, since it's actually touching the power lines i don't want to get in any danger but it's been three weeks and they haven't come hmm priorities i guess we're a small fish anyway but you can kind of get a look down the fence row look at that that's a pretty straight fence we've got a few t posts that need a little adjustment but for the most part we're looking pretty good 450 feet and that's what we got to get accomplished all right more to follow guys all right here's the final installation on the fence it's been a little while coming but you can see uh, we have the fence bullet system here and uh, pretty happy with it turned down all right we ran a six string bob wire all the way up used a uh, double uh, horizontal on that section one pipe on that one and we put a 16 foot gate on here by Metro Gate on a Paris, Texas. Really good guys over there, and they build a super heavy duty bull gate. This is gonna be a good test for the uh, for the fence bullet system because uh, let me tell you, that gate is heavy. We got it properly aligned, it's leveled, and uh, you know what? It looks pretty good. So I don't know if you can see going down here, but we put six uh, six strands of bob wire we used a uh, pressure treated post every uh, 50 feet for a total of 450 feet through here we put uh, all of our t-post on 10 foot centers and then came back and used a vertical fence stay in the middle but hey this is my second installation of the bullet fence system and i like it i like it a lot the greatest thing for me being a weekend warrior was it allowed me to set my post one weekend come back the next weekend already had my pipe cut because i knew the measurements and instantly installed them and i was stringing wire the next weekend uh, very very nice you can see the fence stay right here on this one 
really does a good job. All right, guys, more information to come, but hey, just wanted to share with you the project. So you can see some of the little baby calves we got down here this morning and what they're up to and what they're doing. Look at this little guy right here, this 915 bull. He's gonna be a winner. Little registered Sim Angus. Not bad, not bad. So you can see, oh, here comes the rest of them. Calves are feeling good this morning. What a good looking group of calves we got here. I'm pretty pleased with these ladies and guys. So uh, anyway, you can see a lot going on. This is our uh, primary younger herd, if you will. And uh, girls are looking good. Uh-oh, we got a little disagreement going on down here this morning. All right, this is the pecan orchard. You can see uh, we bailed some hay on here, trying to clean things up a little bit. Looking good. All right, guys, uh, one of the things we did yesterday was fence stays so look at the uh this right here is what you call a fence stay goes in there it keeps the cows from poking their head through there they can't move the wire because over time what happens is if a cow can get their head through the fence it's just a matter of time before they push shove and uh weaken the fence or make it worse than what it is so uh, we came in and put fence stays looks pretty good if you can look going down this lane this is one of our newer fences and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, guys, just wanted to give you an update. Some good looking cattle in here. I'm pretty pleased with them. All right, guys, talk to you later.